Thank you for logging on to another episode of Gospel Talk TV. I'm your host, Mr. Michael Watt Glimmy. This is Season 2. And if you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button and show your support. As I bring you more breaking news stories to a computer screen near you. You can also follow this news story at Gospel Talk TV on Tweet. The Tweet. The Tweet. 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 The Tweet. The tweet, the tweet, tweet, tweet. Hey, it's ugly ragging my man back with some more motherfucking truth. All right, all right. We have here in motherfucking Arizona. Arizona? Yes, motherfucker. This is Arizona where the motherfucking idiots motherfucking go to fucking play. That's why Tommy Sotomayor had moved to Arizona because the bitches in Arizona are so stupid, they motherfucking him. He can take advantage of them. Anytime you want, just look at motherfucking the bitch that he got on this show. But anyway, motherfucking this couple, motherfucking them abandoned a two-year-old fucking child. A two-year-old child abandoned a two-year-old child. The neighbor found the two-year-old child playing in the yard. They abandoned a two-year-old child to do what? To play Pokemon Go. Now this motherfucking shit is, is getting sickening now. I mean, these motherfuckers are that stupid. That retarded, they mind is that far gone that they do anything for Pokemon Go. It's like motherfucking crack, this motherfucking Pokemon Go is. I mean, over in California, I did a report on it. Motherfucker them fell off a cliff. Another motherfucker them got it, almost got hit by a car. Another motherfucker almost got robbed. A motherfucker almost got pedophile to, get to, to death because motherfucking a pedophile was on Pokemon Go. Motherfucker sh strangers showing up at other people's houses. This is a Pokemon Go fan. And you know what? The makers of Pokemon Go is laughing and smiling all the way to the fucking bank. Because let me tell you something. Even though the application is free, being that this getting so much publicity, it's in every news. News all over. They talk about the Pokemon Go. Everybody's on Pokemon Go. This is publicity. Even though shit bad happening, bad publicity is not better than no publicity. So, you have people who don't even know about Pokemon Go catching ear of it or catching eyesight of it. Now they want to see what Pokemon Go is all about and they going and downloading it for free. Now, being that they downloading it for free, I'm pretty sure I haven't downloaded it or I haven't checked it out, but I'm pretty sure that motherfucking damn... Somewhere, somehow, the makers of Pokemon Go is making a killing in their fucking bank account with Pokemon Go. Either through ad revenue, I think it's some probably some ad revenue on that application, or or um probably other it's probably other applications that's attached to that Pokemon Go application. So they might not get be getting paid off of the Pokemon Go application, but the other apps that's attached to that app and whatever new apps they attach to that app. So when motherfuckers download Pokemon Go, they automatically download that that that, that spyware, that bot app. And as they download that bot app, they wonder why they have three and four different freaking apps that they on a phone that they never even freaking uh downloaded. Well, let me tell you why. It goes back to tell you that motherfucking them Negroes and motherfucking idiotic motherfucking people are too stupid to fucking read. They read a motherfucking them, instead of motherfucking them reading the terms and conditions before clicking that little X, before clicking that box and motherfucking download the application, they should read the terms and conditions and know what they fucking signing up for. Because if they don't read the terms and conditions, they go ahead and click that box and motherfucking download the application, they don't know that they signed up to to motherfucking them have additional apps all put on their phone by the motherfucking Pokemon Gold Maker sponsors. Yes, it's called sponsorship. Motherfucking them, they Pokemon Gold Makers might not be making no money from Pokemon Go, but they making a killing off of motherfucking them sponsorship and third party ad revenue. Yes, they are. And being that this Pokemon Go is such such a a, a a uh, uh, worldwide phenomenon. Um, you can have bigger app companies and bigger ad companies wanting to motherfucking them write motherfucking checks to the Pokemon Go makers just so they can sneak 
fucking them, their ads and their apps and their whatever inside that app. So, whoever fucking downloaded it, they agreed the motherfucking have that motherfucking them, that these other advertisers on their phone. They agreed to have their phone numbers shared with these other advertisers as well as the Pokemon Go. They agreed the motherfucking have their address, uh, whatever information and information in their uh, contact list on their phone, information in their Facebook, information in Twitter, information in all the other social media platforms. They agreed to share all that information with Pokemon Go makers and the Pokemon Go sponsors. So, when you go motherfucker, you dumb down idiots, motherfucker, them, wonder why y'all getting a phone call from motherfucking Indian silent people trying to offer you some shit that you don't fucking need, motherfucker, just know that motherfucker, them, you click the button, you click the box, the motherfucker, uh, ask for that. If motherfucking you get mail in your mail by the U.S. Postal Service, motherfucking them, that you haven't signed up for, just know that you click that box, that motherfucking damn, you did not read the terms and conditions. Alright? This is how it works. I know about marketing because I've been in market, marketing for quite some time. I've been in marketing, I've been in almost every fashion of uh, business. I know all about business. I know about marketing. I know the tricks of the trade the marketing. I know almost everything about marketing. So I know about this. And I know how they work. But these motherfuckers, damn idiots, they don't look at that. They just want a motherfucker, damn find Pokemon and die. Yes. Literally. They want to find Pokemon and jump, jump off a cliff. They want to find Pokemon and run into a car. They want to find Pokemon and motherfucking leave their two-year-old child... Home alone while they go find Pokemon. Am I the only one motherfucking them thinking that this is retarded? This is retarded. How can you pay so much attention to a Pokemon Go game and motherfucking neglect your fucking kids, neglect your household, neglect your fucking job? Motherfucking, you pay more attention to Pokemon Go game than your own life. Because you was willing to jump off a fucking cliff over there in California for the Pokemon Go game. You willing to leave your kids at home alone to play the Pokemon Go game. You idiots need to get a grip on yourself. Y'all need to get a grip on life. Read the Bible. Study the Bible. That is you blacks, Latinos, Haitians, um, <clears throat> Dominicans, so forth and so forth. That's, that's you guys' culture. Read that. It's knowledge. He who the sun set free is free indeed. That he who Pokemon set free is free indeed. Because he who Pokemon set free is motherfucking death. <laughs> anyway, I'm your host, Mr. Michael Wagalimi. This is season two. If you're new to the channel, please tap that subscribe button. Show your support as I bring more breaking news stories to a computer screen near you. You can follow this news story at Gospel Talk TV on Twitter. Tweet, tweet, tweet. The tweet, tweet, tweet. Ah, the ugly rag, my bell. Back with some motherfucking truth. Okay, gospeltalktv.com. Gospeltalktv.com. Ah.